so I did I did a silly mistake here. You see, uh, if I substitute minus one here, so minus one is square. It will be plus one, right? So it will be plus half. It will be plus half, okay? So, mm -hmm. so we can cancel out plus half minus half. So you only get one. So that is the answer. Now let's solve the solve part four. Oh, applied, applied problems. So that's 15 marks. So we have already completed, uh, I mean, 85 marks. Now let's see how can we solve. Number four. So for number four, we have uh, find the local find the local extreme values of function. So here our function is x y minus x square minus y square minus two x minus two y plus four. We have to find the local ex extreme values. So for this reason, we have to find the partial derivative with respect to x and with respect to y. So partial derivative with respect to x that is uh, this is con y is constant. Y is constant. So partial derivative with respect to x is uh, here is y, and then this is zero. Sorry, this is a uh, this is two x, and this is uh, zero. And this is uh, minus two, and this is uh, zero, and this is also zero. We got minus two, and uh, we got one. So y minus two x minus two, right? Y minus two x minus two. And we have to assume that it is equal to zero. To find the uh, extreme uh, local extreme values, we have to assume that it is equal to zero. And then again, partial derivative with respect to y. So let's see. With respect to y, so we assume x as a constant, so it will be zero. It is also zero. And then with respect to y, it will be x. Then with respect to y, so it will be minus two y it will be uh, minus two and it will go to zero so you see x minus two y minus two so x minus two y minus two and then you have to find the value of, and now you have to solve this two equation you have to solve this two equation and you will see that uh, after solving those two equation uh, you will find that value of x and y you will find two values, okay? Value of x and value of y. So in this case, value of x and y, they are same. So do you know how to solve this equation? I mean, just... Uh, mm, no, Omar. Okay, let me, let, me, let me show you. So first thing you have to think, how can we cancel out either x or y? So we have minus 2x here and we have uh, x here. So if I multiply 2 with the first, maybe this is the first equation. And this is the second equation, okay? So we multiply two with the second equation. So it will be two x. It will be um, minus four y. It will be minus four, right? Okay. Now you uh, you just you just add these two equations. Equation first. You just add the first and the second equation, okay? Because the first equation here is uh, here is minus two x. So you can cancel out minus two x. And plus x. So you are left with y. So y uh, plus four y plus minus four y. It is going to be minus three y. And then minus two plus minus four. That is going to be minus uh, minus six. And on the right side we have zero. We have right on the right side we have zero. So equal zero. So now if you take a uh, Six on the right side, so you will get um, you find like oh, three minus three y equals six. So y equal 
we divide by we divide both side uh, by minus three, so y equal minus three. So y equal minus two. Is that clear? Mm, yes, Amar, I get it. No. Yeah, we, we multiply the second equation by two, and then we can cancel out uh, two x. So as we are adding these two equations, that means we have to add this y and this uh, this minus four y. So plus y minus four y that is minus three y, and then uh, minus two and minus four that is minus six. Now we, you take the you take minus six on the right side, so minus six become plus six, and you divide both sides by using minus three. So you get y equal minus two. But say, uh, now you just need to substitute uh, the value y equal to minus two. Y equal to minus two in the first equation, okay? Then you will see the value of x. If you substitute y equal to minus two here, uh, minus two here, so minus two, minus two x, minus two equals zero. So x will be. You take minus two on the right side, so it will become plus two. You take minus two on the right side, it will become plus two. And then <coughs> we have a uh, so two plus two that is four, right? Two plus two that is that is four. And then here is a uh, minus two. So you just take it is multiplied with x. So you take it on the right side. It will become it will it will become divided, right? So four minus two that is going to be minus two. So this will we find the value of x and y, okay? Uh, this is that clear now? Mm -hmm. No, okay. So, what can we do now? Therefore, the point. So, we see x is x and y same. So, therefore, the point minus 2 minus 2 is the only point where the function can take an extreme value. So, we have to find the x x i mean the partial derivative uh, the second order partial derivative with, re with respect to x two times <clears throat> so with respect to x is here and then again we have to find partial derivative with respect to x so now we have to take y, y as a constant so it is zero and uh, derivative of minus 2x it is minus 2 and then derivative of this constant is zero so we, we get minus 2 so that's why I ha we have written here f, f x x equal minus two, okay? Because this is the second order partial derivative uh, with respect of the function with respect to x two times, okay? Mm, can you repeat it? Uh, yeah, sure. So now we have to find x x. We have to find uh, partial derivative of x x. I mean, this is the second order partial derivative of x. And then we have to find a second order partial derivative with respect to x first, and then with respect to y. I mean, you have to find f, f x x, f x y, and then f y y. Okay? So how do we, how do we find that? f x, for f x x, you see here, uh, f of x, uh, the partial derivative with respect to x, that is, uh, y minus 2x minus 2, right? Y minus 2x minus 2. So again, we are we are trying to find. We have, so for now, for now we have completed this part, f x. Now we have to complete this part. I mean, again we have to find the partial derivative with respect to x. So y y is our so we have to treat y as a constant. Derivative of y is zero. Derivative of minus two x is uh, minus two, and derivative of minus two is also zero because this is a constant. So we are only left with minus two. So this is the value for f x x and f x y. So this is f x, and now so say this is we have calculated up to this part f x. Now we have to find with respect to y. So we have to treat x as a constant. So x is our constant. So this is our constant. Derivative of this constant is 0. 
this constant is zero and with respect to y that means derivative of y is one so you only found one so if x y equal one and if y y if you if you see here if y is here that means we have calculated this part if y and now we have to calculate with respect to y again so we have to treat x as a constant derivative of x is zero and then derivative of minus 2y is minus 2 and then derivative of minus 2 is 0 so we get minus 2 okay so here fy is minus 2 Grace is that clear now mm, yes Omar I got it So now what, can, what should we do? We just need to AC minus B square. Therefore, it has a local maximum. maximum. Okay, so AC minus B square. Oh, there was a formula, but uh, he, uh, Lausi didn't believe it. Lausi hasn't written here. So the formula is, let me show you here in the notes. This is for the extreme point. So it is, it is called a uh, Haitian matrix, okay? So the formula is f of xx times f of yy minus f of yx times f of xy. So yx and xy, they have to be similar, okay? You don't need to worry. They have to be similar. And they will be similar, okay? So let's see. That's why uh, Lausche has written here AC minus B square. This is a uh, Haitian metric, okay? Ah, uh, can you explain it again? Ah, uh, okay. I see. Haitian metric. This is a formula. Okay, okay. So here, Haitian matrix is this way: f of x x f of x y f of y x f of y y so if you if you do the same way before like we used to multiply this way minus this way so f of x x times f of y y minus f of y x times f of x y and these two f of y x and f of x y these two needs to be same so if we just find f of x y then fine we, we just need to square them so we just need to square them so that's why Lauchi has written here AC minus G square. Okay. So AC here A is minus two and C is minus two. So minus two my, multiply minus two that is plus four and minus G square. So B is one. So minus one is square that means minus one. So four minus one that is three. And three is, is greater than zero. So if Haitian matrix, the result of this Haitian matrix is greater than zero. Therefore, the function has a local maximum at this point. And the value of the function at this point is, so uh, you have to just uh, substitute the value in the main equation, in the main equation, okay? Substitute the value x equal to two, y equal to minus two in the main equation, okay? So here is the main equation. So as you, you found this in the, in the first place, x equal, x equal y equal minus two. So now you have to just substitute the value here x equal minus 2, y equal minus 2. Then use, oh sorry, not here, in the main equation. You have to substitute the value in the main equation here, okay? So x is minus 2, so minus 2 times minus 2, that is 4. 
फोर माइनस फोर माइनस फोर माइनस फोर के बिकॉज़ एक्स इक्वल माइनस टू माइनस टू स्क्वायर इक्वल प्लस प्लस फोर प्लस फोर टाइम्स माइनस दैट इज़ माइनस फोर एंड देन अगेन माइनस फोर अगेन प्लस प्लस फोर देन अगेन प्लस फोर देन प्लस फोर तो प्लस फोर माइनस फोर कैंसिल प्लस फोर माइनस फोर कैंसिल सो फोर प्लस फोर दैट इज़ एट we got our value date okay the local extrema i mean the value uh, therefore the function is local maximum at this point and the value of function at this point is date right is that clear now uh, can you explain it why it's equal to a oh, we just need to I just see. Firstly, we found the value of x and y, right? So just uh -huh. just substitute the value of x and y in the first equation. You write down here x equal. Oh, okay. You write you write down here x equal minus two and y equal minus two. So minus two times minus mm -hmm. two that will be four. And then minus minus two squared that means four. Uh, four that means minus four. Just substitute the value of x and y in the in the main equation. You see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, I get it. Thank you. So, do you have another question? Yeah, this is the final question. So, okay, let me just. No. Let me uh -huh. The last, the last question. Oh, do we have? Okay, so the last question. No, we have we have part five also on now. The last question here. Uh, so, last question for part four is: Use the Grace, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear. Okay. You. The double integral to find the area of the region R bounded by this uh, this two line, this three line. So we we just need to substitute back this y here, okay? Because then we will get uh, some value of x. So we have to substitute back y equals four here. So we get x equal two. You know, we just We just write here y equal to two. So y equal to four, sorry. And then we get then we we uh, we get x equal to two, right? So we have two values, x equal zero and x equal two. So that means the region satisfies that the value of x is gonna be from zero to two, okay? So this uh, boundary we we had uh, in the question they didn't mention this boundary. But from the equation, we somehow we somehow find find this boundary, and then for y, you can see y the value of y is two x, and then again, uh, you you are you are you are seeing here y equal to two y equal to four. So the value of y will be between two uh, x and between uh, and four, okay, between two x and four. So that's why the boundary for y it is. Uh, Y is greater than two x, and or y is y is greater than or equal to two x, and y is less than or equal to four. Yes, can you understand? Mm hmm. Yes, Omar. I just substitute the value of y equal four here, and then I got I got some value of x because um, here from this equation, and then our boundary for x is zero to zero to two, and then for y it is already written here y equal to two x and y equal to four. That means The boundary of y will be from two uh, x to four, okay. And then the same way mm -hmm. we write down this way. And uh, first we have to define, we have to integrate with respect to y. So this is the boundary for y two x and two x to four. So the, the the equation here is uh, Four minus two. So what is the equation? Four minus two. So as you see, we, we don't have any equation, right? But uh, we can mm -hmm. see, we can see like uh, you can feel there is equation. <laughs> Nothing is here mm -hmm. one, right? Here is one. The equation is one. Mm -hmm. So integration of one, that is uh, y, right? So. Mm -hmm. Now, integration of y. Um, so integration of one that is y. Now you have to 
Okay, so I have written here. I have already written here. So, integration of y dy. So you write down integration of one is that uh, integration of or integration of two x to four on dy. That is y, and then our boundary is from two x to four. So we we just uh, substitute back our boundary. So it is gonna be uh, the upper limit here is four. So four minus so uh, uh, upper limit minus the lower limit. Okay. So four minus two x. That's why our uh, this result. The result of this integral is um, four minus two x. And now now it's simple. Now now we are we are done with y. So we have to uh, we have to find the integration with respect to x. So uh, this is a constant. So uh, integration of this constant will be four x. And indication of minus two x, it will be minus x squared. And then here is the boundary. So we substitute back the boundary, and we get the value equal to four. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm okay. So part five, we have some uh, calculation problem. Suppose there is a function mm -hmm. two last continuous, continuous on the interval this, and then okay. uh, continuous. Function is continuous on the interval. Then, so we have to prove the left hand side equal to right hand side, okay? So let's start from the left hand side. So, for left hand side, interval is 0 to 1. Okay, let's see here our, in, our interval is 0 to 1. So I. Dx. Let me I think uh, this is a formula. Integration of zero to one. D so this is our left hand side. Integration of zero to one dx. Integration of zero to x. Fy dy. So maybe this is a formula, okay? Because we have changed. If you look at the change here, so the change is here. In the in the dx, they have written here dy, and where it was dy, they have written here dx. So they have changed. They have changed the position of dx and dy, and then they have uh, uh, changed the limit, the boundary of they have they have adjusted the boundary of the uh, of uh, y with respect to y. Okay, they have changed the boundary with respect to y. So the boundary became y to one. Okay, y to one. So this is assume that this is a formula, okay. And then if you see here, partial derivative here is one, right? Yes, are you here? Yes, Omar. Okay. So here is one. So partial uh, integration of one, integration of one that is y, right? Y. And then we have to uh, substitute back the the boundaries. So here is zero and one. So if we substitute the boundaries, it will be one on minus zero. One minus zero is. But again, here is integration of one to one, a for dy. Oh no, no, sorry, I didn't I didn't mistake here. The first thing first is uh, first thing first we have integration of uh, y to one f of y dx, right? That means we have to do uh, we have to do this part first. Okay, let me use this. We have to do maybe this this part first. So uh, f of y. So, for example, f of y, it is just uh, maybe we have it on here, right? 
we just maybe we just uh, write down it as y okay y so so now uh, if i just uh, put the boundary here so it will be y and one so now boundary that means one minus y and then here is f of y okay so guys you see here the thing is here i i just mm -hmm. uh, i just do the i just do the last part first okay do you remember we do the last we do the, we do the we do the y first or we do i mean we do the last last part first and then we do the left mm -hmm. i mean we do the right for uh, we do the right first and then we do the we do the left so mm -hmm. here on the right side here on the right side we have a uh, integration of y to one f of y d, uh, f of y dx so as we as, as you see here we have f of y so before f of y we, we only have one right we, we only have one so integration of one that will be y and now you have to uh you have to give the boundary right so boundary is y to one you see here boundary is y to one and then you have to substitute back the boundary here so substitute back here is one so one then minus the so upper limit here is uh, substitute here is one then minus the lower limit here is y so it will be one minus y and then as we have a f of y assume that this is a constant so this constant is here f of y okay grace is that clear now yes Omar, i got it and now integration with uh, of uh, zero to one uh on minus y with respect to y so it will be um it will be the same thing like on minus y Due to one, one so this is the answer on minus yep y. i don't know why it is uh, zero to one one minus x zero to one one minus x f of x so maybe so i'm not sure how this kind of things work so let's skip this part let's skip this um this one okay i mean i don't know how okay. how did they, they uh, do here the last question here is if mm -hmm. function of x uh, if if x y equal half ln x square plus y square then the equation partial derivative the second order partial derivative of x plus second order partial derivative of y so second order partial derivative with respect to x plus second order partial derivative with respect to y is equal zero holes so that means we have, again we have to we have to find the partial derivative of x and then partial derivative of y and then second order partial derivative so this thing this thing is the similar as f x x do you remember f x x and this thing is also similar as f y y so i already explained how how do we find x x x and f y y right mm -hmm. okay but here there uh, it is um and they have used quotient rule okay quotient rule so if i if i give you an example here like partial derivative with respect to x so uh here you see we have to use uh use substitution rule i mean we have to use chain rule so this half this is constant so we keep it here and then ln x integration of ln x sorry, sorry de de derivative of ln x or we can assume that ln u derivative of ln u will be on by u right or in this case on by x square plus y square and then as we are doing partial derivative with respect to x so inside function we have to multiply according to according to the chain rule we have to multiply uh, the derivative of inside function right so inside function here is x square plus y square so partial derivative with respect to uh, partial derivative with respect to x that is going to be uh, derivative of x square it will be 2x and we treat y as a constant so our answer is uh our answer is 2x okay our answer is 2x so here we have 2x 
to this part. This part is 2x, right? So now, as you see here, we can just cancel out two. We can cancel out two from left side and right, uh, from up and down, right? So we get x by root over x square plus uh, x by x square plus y square. Is that clear? <coughs> yes, Amar. Okay, now let's see the last part. Now partial derivative of uh, f with respect to y. So the same thing here, okay? We use the chain rule. So half we take the constant out, and then again, the um, partial derivative. So so the derivative of law on u, it will be on by u. Same thing for, uh, like same as before here. And then uh, we are doing partial derivative with, with respect to y. So so derivative of y square will be 2y. So instead of 2x, we write down here 2y. And then you can cancel out this 2, I mean, the same way before. You can cancel out 2. As you cancel out here, 2 and 2. So you can cancel out the two same, the same as before. And here we got, uh, instead, of, instead of x, we got y. So the answer is y by, root of, uh, y by x square plus y square. You see here, y by x square plus y square. And then for the second order partial derivative with respect to x, um, we do the, we, we use the quotient rule. Because we have, uh, it, this is something like u by x, right? u and v, they are divided. So this is called, this is called quotient rule. So the quotient rule is uh, derivative of u divided by v, that is going, going to be u derivative v minus v derivative u divided by v square. So u derivative v. So u derivative v. So uh, let's do this one first. So as we firstly, as we got, now we have to, now we need to find fxx, right? And we already found fx. fx is here. Now we have to work from here. We have to find um, partial derivative with respect to x again. So u derivative v. So derivative of x will be one on multiply here v is x square plus y square so we, we we just keep this x square plus y square and then minus v derivative u so here derivative of v i mean the partial derivative of x square plus y square with respect to x it will be uh, 2x right and we treat y the constant so y square y derivative of y square equals zero and then mm -hmm. divided by v square. So divided by v square, that means uh, x square plus y square whole square. So you see here, x square plus y square whole square. And then on the upside, we have x square plus y square minus 2x. So 